more time for our very last comedian of the night. Please welcome Jaya Tawari. What's up, everyone? Uh, my name is Jaya Tawari, and I know I'm brown, but if I bomb the set, don't tell the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> kid um, meant that I didn't really see myself in media that often, so um, representation is really important to me, which meant that uh, when the Cleveland Indians said that they were changing their name, I was like, holy shit, I just lost the only representation that I had in American sports. <laughs> but then I realized the Cleveland Browns still exist. <laughs> so obviously I'm not the kind of Indian that the Cleveland Indians are named after, but white people don't really seem to know that. Like one time I said I was Indian, and this guy looks me dead in the eyes and goes, that's so cool, what tribe is your family from? And I was like, Asia. <laughs> um, but a lot of times when people do figure out what kind of Indian I am, they'll say some shit to me like, oh my god, you're Indian? I love chicken tikka masala. I'm like, okay. And so the next time that this happens to me, I've decided I'm just gonna go, oh my god, you're white? I love avocado toast. <laughs> and just like see what happens. Alternatively, um, if I wanted to make white people really uncomfortable, uh, since the list of boys I've hooked up with sounds like a lacrosse roster, I could go like, hey, oh my god, you're white? I love your men. And just make it even more awkward. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, um, another place where uh, brown people are lacking, aside from the list of people I've hooked up with, is in comedy. Like, you can count all the brown comedians on one hand. You got Aziz Ansari, Hasan Minaj, Kumail Nanjiani, Russell Peters, and Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my favorite um, Indian comedian, and the one I relate to the most, is Aziz Ansari. And whenever people say that, or whenever I say that, people are always like, ah, Jaya, didn't he do something really bad though? And like, honestly, I don't think the first two seasons of Parks and Rec are that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just like Aziz Ansari, um, I relate to him a lot because I am also a very small Indian person with big eyes who's gonna get canceled one day. Like I've definitely said some shit in the past that's gonna come back and haunt me. Um, including like everything I've said in this set so far. <laughs> and so to get ahead of the curve, I am going to give you guys a list of reasons I would get canceled. Um, I'm formally apologizing now instead of in 10 years. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and so basically, for some background context, my mom and my grandma, they sp both speak perfect English, but they speak Hindi, which I don't, uh, because I'm a coconut. I'm brown on the outside, white on the inside. <laughs> And so sometimes I'll be speaking to them and they'll switch from talking in English to Hindi. And then at that point, I have no choice but to assume that they're talking shit about me because why else would they switch languages to the one I don't understand? <laughs> and so one time this happened uh, and I accidentally told my grandma to go back to her own country because this is America and we speak English here. <laughs> <laughs> moments and so I'd like to apologize for that. Nani, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I also own a Lego police set and it's one of my favorite Lego sets. Um, like it came with a little police dog and five unarmed black men and everything. <laughs> and then uh, the other day I told a guy I like sports and he was like, oh yeah, what's the 1970 Patriots coach's blood type? And I was like, bitch, I don't know, red? <laughs> and then to fuck with him right back, I was like, hey, isn't it kind of problematic uh, that these that uh, white men own these teams made up of mostly black people, that they can trade whenever they want? And so I don't know if that was more problematic of me or the NFL, personally. <laughs> and then finally, uh, the other day, I said that the Los Angeles Lakers should change their name to the Los Angeles Libtards, <laughs> just so they can represent Los Angeles a bit more. <laughs> and because that wasn't offensive enough, um, I decided to go one step further and say, actually, if they really wanted to represent Los Angeles, they changed their name to the Los Angeles Latinos. Thank you so much, that's my time. <laughs>